if any UFC division has multiple boogeymen right now, perhaps it is 135 pounds for the men, but may Rob Dwalish Willie, given the wrestling, given the pace, is a fight that I would think a lot of Bantamweight contenders would try to avoid. Yeah, I mean, it must be so upsetting and so frustrating to fight Marab because Marab is just on you. He's like he's on you like a wet blanket. He wants to take you down. He wants to pressure you. He wants to make you work the entirety of the fight. It's so fun for a guy like me to watch because I love wrestling, but to be his opponent would be an absolute nightmare. This guy is a monster. Volume takedowns doesn't even begin to describe it, right? It makes for a suffocating night at the office to face May Rob Wallace Willie. We'll see how his opponent fares tonight. this octagon has ever seen and prevailing wisdom is he'll try to use that to his advantage in this matchup today. it's in all the championships that he has accrued outside of the ufc in the grappling he understands body management like no one we have ever seen he knows how to manipulate you to make you go where you he needs you and wants you to go it's the trips and the throws it's almost like you're wearing a key top and he's grabbing and throwing you feeding his hips in the position to move to the next it's unreal to watch a grapple of this level fight the ufc and he told us on thursday he is absolutely focused on the submission tonight he needs a finish to try to take his career to the next level we'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. the tape for this Bantamweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC flyweight champion of the world and the former UFC featherweight champion, Henry Triple C. Zahuda! Referee Herb Let's Dean fight. will handle the action Let's. in the octagon. Well, great to be with you tonight, live from Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And when I was here for UFC 113 back in 2010, George St. Pierre wasn't even fighting. The loudest pro sports venue I have ever heard of. John, they get so excited to watch me fight. Look, man, when you go to Montreal, it's a great city, but it's cold. Dwalish really gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. What a strike from off of his back. Take your elbows in, get into half guard. Let's go. Yeah, he's in half guard here. Oh, how about that reversal by him there? All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. This is where he wants to be. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Cejudo. He continues to evolve as a striker. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. He passes to half guard. Getting the ball here. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, 
Two minutes to go in the round. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. All right, feet on the hips here. He passed the half guard. Wallace Willis right back to the full mat. And there you go, again, half guard. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to his opponent's neck to try to choke him out and finish his fight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. Yeah, the fans came to see him knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John, but ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Round two is next. All right, buddy, take a seat. Deep breath for me. Breathe. All right, let's get him some water. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen, you're doing absolutely awesome. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready? You ready? Let's go. All right, round two. Good run. of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Nice jab by Dwellis Williams. Oh, you land all of them. Is that what we're doing here? Cejudo in the stand, but Alan Byer is certainly a guy who deserves a lot of credit for the boxing improvements from the gold medalist Cejudo. Push kick there to the body. Oh, nice elbow. Straight punch is good. Dwellis Willie gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensive. He's gonna get himself knocked out. You gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. All right, under three minutes now to go in round two. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round. Oh! So now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Dwalish Willie's in half guard now. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Gotta be careful here. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. There it is, now he's running the well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Oh, he got to his spot. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Final seconds here. Making all these shots count. And one sounds on round two. 
listen, bud. You did okay that round, but I need you to avoid the ground. Let's keep this fight standing. You have a really good chance at knocking him out on his feet. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Oh, nice big. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Block the strike there, counters with an inside leg kick. Good job by Cejudo. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up with him. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type. Gotta be careful, Omar. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. the submission attempt here. Break that arm. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Oh, look at that high level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. 90 seconds to go. This is no safe place against this opponent. He passes the half. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Cejudo's back in full mount. Ship rounds. All right, buddy. Sit down, relax, breathe, okay? We gotta suck it up this round. You're not tired. I want you to go out there and I want you to get this takedown. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Game posture, have height, control hands and wrists. Land strikes, don't throw too many. Throw just enough control. Throw again, control. He did it perfect. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice level change. You see him put himself into the half guard. Likes the control, yep. Now he's going full mount. Mm, that was nice.
Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. And now he's inside the table. Wallace Willie is able to transition back to side control now. Still plenty of time with which to work here round four. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across the body. He's up. What submission defense on this play? His work. I'm going to stand this up. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Well, good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further damage, courtesy of that ground and pound. Nice job off of his back by Dwalish Wolf. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and train down big strikes in your point. Nicely done. Yep, gotta be very careful there. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. In the half guard. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Are right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. 15 seconds remain in the round. And now he's got the back. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Good, nice round, nice round. Relax. Take some water and listen. You're killing him with your strikes, okay? Let's sharpen up. Let's be snappy. You ready to fight? Ready. Do Fifth it. and final round, fourth come. Effective use of the jab there by Dwallis Will. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. There's the kick, it's blocked. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. One takedown is easy to defend. When you start stripping the guy, you guy struggling. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Cejudo going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. All right, well, I don't have to be a judge to tell you he is losing this fight late in the game now. Time to start throwing up those submission attempts, I would think. You got to keep going. You got to start throwing up submission attempt after submission attempt and hope that something's free for you to latch on. Short uppercut here on the clinch by Cejudo. He continues to evolve as a striker. Both fighters realizing a lot of success early. Back and forth we go. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Guillotine jump. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? His 
This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get sub. All right, side control now. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by the ever-improved Henry Cejudo. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, he's got the Kamora position locked in now. Submission defense, he is out of danger again. He recognized the danger, got himself out of it, and now he fights on. Oh, oh, that is the final horn. We go to the scorecards. One of the greatest fights that we have seen all year. All right, so the fight goes the distance. Both guys had their moments, but there was a striking advantage, albeit slight, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get his hand raised tonight. It should be enough. I mean, when you watch the fight, you understand that you are watching two of the best mixed martial artists in the world. But it did look like he did just enough to earn a competitive decision. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner by split decision, the Rob, the Machine, Wally Schrolli! Wow, so there he is, your winner by the narrowest of margins. Only three scorecards in the world matter. Two of them thought he won. I mean, you could tell that he wasn't sure he had got enough done to win the fight. He gets the decision. It was a very close fight, and it's well earned.